Welcome back to the Python tutorial. And today you're going to be asking the user to enter a year, and then we're going to check if it's a leap year or not. So a leap year has to be evenly divisible by four, and if it's a century year like 1700, 1800, 1900, it has to be evenly divisible by 400. So seven, uh, 1712 is evenly divisible by four, so it's a leap year. 1913 is not divisible by four, so it's not a leap year. So first we're going to define a variable, and we're going to have it of type integer. So we're going to say int. Input. We're just asking the user for integer, and then we're going to store it inside of year. And then we could check if that number they entered is a leap year or not. We could say if year modulus 4 equal equal to 0, then it's partially going to be a leap year. Because the modulus operator just returns a remainder, and if there's no remainder, that means it goes in equally. If that's the case, and if it's not a century year, then it's going to be a leap year. So we could say if year modulus 100 not equal to zero, then it's going to be a leap year. But we also have one more condition to check. We have to check if it is a century year, it has to be evenly divisible by 400. So we could say if year modulus 400 equal, equal to zero, then it's also going to be a leap year. So if these cases execute and they're true, we could just print year comma is a leap year. But if it's not, there's only going to be one other case. It's not going to be a leap year. So we can literally just copy and paste this and make, and print, make it say is not a leap year. And if we run it, we should be done. Let's actually see. Let's do 1712. It is going to be a leap year. Let's do 1913. Not a leap year. And if we do 1600, 1600 is a century year but it's equally divisible by 400, so it should be a leap year. And it's a leap year. And we're pretty much done. Let me zoom it out a little bit. And if this helped you in any way or you just enjoyed watching, leave a like and subscribe.